Hey guys, welcome to another video here. Today we are going to be reviewing the First Blood only game AJ52 Watcher RGB Gaming Mouse. How I came to find this mouse was on Amazon. My wife got a new job and she's working remotely and she wanted a white themed setup for her office and this mouse was decent for the price. It looked aesthetic and we bought it and I'm making a review for it. I was noting, I was noticing on YouTube and Amazon, they don't really have a lot of reviews for it. So I thought, you know what, I can make a review with it. And with this video, I hope you guys can make a good decision if this mouse is for you or not. Let's start off with the exterior here. We got this really cool, I don't know, Spider-Man design here um, with the RGB. As you can see here, we got the scroll. Um, it's made out of rubber. Rubber. It feels alright. Um, can't complain for the price. It was twenty dollars. Um, we have here our DPI where we can control it. Um, it also changes the RGB colors. Um, it's set to one one color at a time. So blue, pink, white. It comes with the RGB software, which I am going to show if we can um customize the colors see if it gives us more than the standard ones um, but yeah this is the top here feels good not too bad i mean i can game with this yeah it's durable it's good and let's see here for the side as you can see here it comes with two programmable keys um, I tested them out and they work. I usually use, um, for my job, copy and paste. So I just copy and then when I have to insert something, I click on this one and it works fine. So for multitasking, this works. So it's decent. The feel for it, it feels good. I mean, it's a $20 mouse, so I can't expect much from it, but it actually does a good job. I mean, I won't get tired of it back I have nothing much in the back it just shows us the the name of the mouse looks like it came from um, China not a bad mouse this is the front right here um, pretty cool at night um, it's like a little glow you guys ever seen those cars that light up at night and um, has like a glow underneath this is basically that so it's pretty nice so should you get this mouse well Let's go over it. Overall rating, what do I rate this mouse? One out of ten. I give it a I give it a seven. Seven because it does its job. Um, I don't give it an eight or nine or ten because of the it's not a premium feel. There could be more programmable buttons and um, it feels a little bit plasticky, but it gets the job done. Functionality, one out of ten out of functionality. Like does it do what it's supposed to do? It's a mouse. Does it mouse? I say yes, it does mouse. I give it a 10 out of 10. It does its thing. It hasn't given us any any issues with it where it accidentally does a magical click by itself or it's not you know responding to a left click or right click or the programmable keys are not working. It works, no connection issues with the computer and the mouse. It's hardwired in, so I give it a 10 out of 10. The functionality is there, appeal. This mouse, the appeal, is it appealing? To me, it's, I'll give it a six out of 10 for appeal because of the design. It's a little bit too much. Um, you really gotta be looking for that type of mouse to like that mouse, you know. If you want a minimalistic, clean, white overall mouse, you may wanna go for other options, but if you like the design, go for it. Um, the appeal, I give it, yeah, a six out of 10. So that's it guys, just wanna go over it for $20. It's a good mouse, it gives you the RGB, gives you the programmable keys, it's white, and it works. For 20 bucks, it, it's cool. I haven't had any issues, so I do recommend it if you're looking for that mouse. I'll see you guys in the next video.